Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon. My name is Robin and today is Flameworking 102.24. Last month I did a demonstration of two flower bud beads and it went over really well. So this time what I wanted to share with you all is how I go about making flowers off of copper wire. And the copper wire that I'm using today in the demonstration, okay, just between you and me, it is coated in black. Here it is, okay. Do not buy a coated copper wire. <laughs> Make sure that when you buy your copper wire, it is a um, uncoated, clean craft, you know, for crafting copper wire. And I am using 18 to 20 gauge copper wire, so that should be good for you. And the magic tool that I am using today is a rod holder and you have to have something to hold the copper wire in and um, I'm sure there's other things out there but this is a really handy not only for holding my short glass rods but also for holding you know pretty thin copper wire that little V right there that little V shape really kind of will hold um, you know a pretty thin wire in there so the description to this tool is in my description i got it from france art glass those guys are awesome so check them out and i think that's it all right without further ado let's get right into it thanks so much for joining me everybody i hope you're all doing safe and well out there and i will see you next time in the dungeon All right, we're gonna start this first one out um, by just heating and preparing my copper wire. I want it nice and hot so the glass will stick to it. And I'm using just a twisty of three different shades of green. And I make sure that when I add the glass to the wire, the wire is nice and hot. And I'm just gonna feed that um, twisted cane just kind of sloppily right over the top of it, about a quarter of an inch let that cool down and then I'm going to heat up uh, kind of this base color I'm going to use is black you can use any color you want to though and I'm going to add a nice big dollop of black on the end and then I'm going to go ahead and flatten this out uh, with my knife and this is going to become the center of the flower now on top of this, I'm gonna add um, three wraps of this orangey color. And I can't remember which colors they are. I have them in the description. I think I have this down as just orange. <laughs> um, so I'll put a few wraps on here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you just get the glass in a round. And while you're doing this and getting, you know, prepared for each wrap, make sure that you just add a little bit of heat to the base of it so nothing cracks. Just flash it in the flame real quick. So here's my last wrap. And now I'll show you how it looks and this would be great as a flower in itself. Just a nice little uh, round flower here. Those would be a lot of fun. But what I wanna do is just kind of uh, take it a little bit, uh, you know, take it a step further <laughs> and pull out a, a couple of little, you know, a little pattern here. I'm going to pull out um, kind of a pinch, a large pinch, and then two short pinches on both sides. And I'm going to do this on three sides. So I'm going to heat one side and then I'll turn it over and heat the other side. Make sure both sides are hot. And then I'm going to come down and pinch a little bit out. And then on both sides, I'll just pinch it a little bit more. And then I'll do this on uh, one more side here. I will say one thing um, about this tool while I'm working on this here. Uh, that the tool is a bit cumbersome because it has that uh, kind of spring holder on the side. So, you know, I just kind of had to, you know, make it work. <laughs> and uh, if I have seen other rod holders or wire holders, and I had one, but it just got really hot. So I prefer to use this one. Anyway, here's our finished flower. And 
well, almost finished, I want to put a little stamen in the center. So I grab my yellow and I get a little hot and I just push and pull like a stringer off the end. And you can leave that long, which would be super cool. I should have done that, but I didn't. I took a little bit off and that is it. Give the whole thing a nice flash in the flame and grab it with your tweezers and put it away in your oven. Yay, that one looks great. Okay, now for the second one, I'm going to do the same thing on each one of these to start out with, is adding my um, little bit of greenery. So I'm gonna add that to the, um, the wire. And now I have my black again. And uh, this flower is a, the three petal flower. So again, I'm going to add black, about the same amount as the first. And I'm just gonna kind of leave it rounded out. And as I'm rounding it out, I'm also heating up my petal color. So I'm gonna add three petals and I'll start out by, you know, taking my time and getting a nice gather of glass hot. And coming out of the flame when I'm ready, giving it a second to kind of cool down and then adding that big dollop of glass, taking it back into my flame and wrapping and kind of twisting it off, casting it off of itself. And then I'll give it a heat on both sides and then just immediately come in with my mini masher and flatten it into that petal shape. So I'm gonna do that two more times. And in between each time, as I am heating up the glass, I'm, um, I'm also making sure that the flower is nice and warm in the back of the flame. So casting that glass off and coming back and pinching it. Now you can pinch this out with uh, some tweezers. If you have a leaf masher, you could use that and get a little bit of texture if you wanted. But um, you know, three petals seems to be the perfect amount uh, for these little flowers. All right, last one here. And you just wanna make sure that you get those mini mashers in there just right for the last one. And lift the petal up a little bit and now if you want to, you can pull those petals out a little bit and make them pointed. What I'm gonna do though, is take a little bit of a black stringer and just add a tiny dot on the tip of each petal. And then I'll just give it a moment to soak in a little bit, about uh, halfway, I'll melt those dots in and then give a little bit of heat to the, to the back side, and we are done with our second flower. Each one of these flowers takes about uh, five to 10 minutes to make. All right, this one will go into the annealer next. Okay, and for our final flower, I'm gonna wrap the wire again. And I do wrap, you know, a good quarter of an inch of that wire on each one of these. And the wire itself is about three inches long. That's how short or how the length of each one of my bits of wire. Okay, so now again, I'm gonna just add the black and I'll cast this color away. And I kind of elongate this one a little bit. This one can kind of be, you know, however, you know, it can be a short, it can be a little longer. Either way, I'm gonna heat up my color and I'm just going to push and pull and just kind of um, stroke that color down into its petal shape all the way around the black. Um, and this one is a lot of fun to do variations on and you'll see that in the final picture. Uh, a few of, one of them is almost all the way closed and one of them's a little bit more open. So, um, you know, you can, you know, make these any way you want, but I'm just very gently just pushing and stroking that glass along the uh, inner dot. And uh, that's it. <laughs> if you want to, you can put some little dots on the, on the, uh, the inner center part, but uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Heat that back end up real nice. And I'll take that off and pop that in the annealer as well. And I make three of each of these. That makes for a nice bundle of a 
bouquet. Okay, I got one more for you guys, and this is super simple. It's just a leaf, and I will make six of these little leaves. And how I make these, I will just go ahead and add, you know, glass to the, the copper wire, and then I'll add a nice big dot on top of it. And then I will heat that up, and I will bring it down and, um, when I'm ready, I will mash it with my mini mashers here. And you'll see the length of the copper rod in there. It gets very dark. But um, immediately what I want to do before it can even cool down is I'll heat up both sides. And then I will grab the tip and pull it out just a little bit and take it into the flame and kind of very gently tug the rest of this glass off a couple times. And that's it. You don't want to mess around with this. You just want to smash it, pull it, and put it away. So I'm going to shape it up real quick. And that's it. I hope you all enjoy this. You know, at the end, I just kind of bundled everything up with a, uh, um, with a rubber band and put some uh, ribbon around it and called it a day. So I hope you all enjoy. Make some beautiful bouquets and I'll see you next time in the dungeon.